Hey guys, Aiden here from Core Electronics, and today we're gonna to quickly go through how you can easily and quickly save games using your RetroPie system. The way that it works essentially is every single emulator and every single game underneath every emulator within RetroArch has its own save game file location. Now those locations are known as save states, which we can choose to snapshot at any point during our time playing a game. For example, if we're halfway through level one of a game, we can um, save state at that point and it will save it to a numbered slot, not starting from zero and going all the way up to whatever you can make it to. There's no limit on how many save states you can have. And then at any point after that point, we can hit a hotkey or a combination of keys on our controller that will revert us instantly back to that point in time. Alongside of that, you can also have typical save game data, as you would imagine that you would have in any of the old retro games. There was some on, um, on the console storage for those sort of save games. And when you beat a boss or something, you'd be able to revert when you turn on your console the next time to that start point. So there are a few, those parts are a bit more far and few between, but the save states is the absolute best way to do it, best way to manage it. So let's jump into how we can do that. I'm just gonna use Super Mario Brothers today. We've got a copy of that one here. Um, and we've got the ROM installed on our RetroArc. Again, take a look at setting up your controller because you'll need the controller to be mapped correctly. And the only other thing you'll need is yourself. So grab your RetroArc controller out and don't do what I've just done. We use the controller for now. So go into our game and I'm just going to demonstrate this really quickly. So it's going to do Super Mario Brothers. So, let's just make sure we've got this all correctly. So select left and right are our two main um, buttons for saving and loading state. So I just died, we'll do this again. <laughs> Can't put two things at once. All right, so for example, I'm gonna go and jump on top of that guy. Get a mushroom. Jump up here, jump up here. So when I'm standing here, if I save the state, down the bottom of the core, uh, down the bottom of the screen, we'll see a little error message. Save the state with select and right bumper. As you can see, my hands here doing that. So select right bumper is, is that again. If you look at the timestamp on the screen, you'll notice that as well. So bottom left, saved to slot zero. Now if I run my merry self down here and I use the other hotkey, which was select and left bumper, so we can see that. Look at what happened on the screen when we do that. So I instantly revert back to that point in time. So that's the quick and easy way of doing it. All right, so I can hear you guys saying, what if I have multiple save states? How do I manage my multiple save states and all that sort of stuff? And that's really easy as well. What you can do is just press the hotkey, select and directional pads on the D-pad and you'll get the same status message in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And it will say save slot, um, change to number one or number two or whatever. So we can just do that really quickly, going to the right. So I'm now in save slot. One, two, three, four. All right, so now I'm now referencing save slot four. If I wanted to go and load my save game, I can't. So I'm not able to load because there's no save in that state. So what we can do is we'll run over here. We'll save a new game. So a new save state here. Now, if I run back this way, jump up here, load that one, boom. Or if I want, I can go back to my original one, which was in save slot zero. And now if I press load, I will be back there. So I hope that really clears up save games and save slots. Um, you can copy your save game files from the RetroArch settings um, menu. We've got a nice tutorial over on the website, which is very in depth and it goes through how to use SSH so you can remote into your um, RetroPie and just grab the files you need. It shows you where those files are. It also shows you a bit more behind the scenes of where you're saving your files, which might be very interesting to some viewers. So definitely go and check it out and we'll put that in the, the links below. Thanks very much for watching guys. Have a great day.